bring any nice, comfortable fall feeling air and just yet yeah, we're a couple months away from that. Debbie's still spinning away. It has basically stalled out. It's moving like four or five miles an hour has been strengthening too. winds are back up to 60 miles an hour. The core is running right over that center of the Gulf Stream. That warm fetch of water that runs up the East Coast here. You can see there it's starting to make that brief uh, short turn to the north. It'll make landfall likely between Charleston and Myrtle Beach later on tonight, moving up to the north here, taking it near New York City and Boston, but I don't think they're going to have major flooding there, just some isolated flooding. Elsewhere, we're watching this tropical wave. I'm feeling pretty good about it. It's going to be close enough to land. It likely does not develop and the ridge is going to send it west. So our heat ridge or our blocking high is going to protect us here. Deeper Hurricane Center not highlighting it yet, but this will be our next area we're watching. This is going to slowly move its way towards the islands here by early next week. So we got a long time to watch it. It's August. We track them all for you. We'll let you know if we should worry. But right now, the only thing we're worried about is the heat. Weather impact alerts. Today, tomorrow and Friday, those highs will be near 100. Not much rain in the forecast to help you out. You need those cooling showers. We're just not going to have them through Friday. A couple showers possible this weekend, but not much rain in the forecast there either as our temperatures get back into the mid 90s. If you're out on the water, we had a Gulf uh, small craft use caution until 9 a.m. That has since expired, so good news. And we'll have a relatively light chop out there for the next several days.